Ciao, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm doing a little get ready with me update thing. I haven't posted for a little bit more than a week. I am going to tell you why and this get ready with me is also a get ready with me first impression kind of thing because I have <laughs> some new products that I don't feel like doing a video on only that and I have okay maybe I should just start to talk about the product I have actually bought all the four little mini palettes from Yves Place I am thinking about doing a video on the violets and the berries but I don't know if <laughs> you want to see like a video with only the nudes and the chocolates so I'm actually thinking about using the nudes. It looks it looks like this, so maybe it isn't the most like fun palette. But I also have bought the Miami Lights from Nabla, their glitter quad. So I am planning on using the nudes palette together with this and see if I can come up with something fun. Maybe I go in with a chocolate palette if I want something to deepen it down with. And that's all for the eyes that I'm going to test out new. I'm also going to test out some new uh, brushes that I bought from BH Cosmetics, Beauty Base, own brand and also from Sigma so I'm going to test out these and for my face I wanted to do like a full face of first impressions it hasn't gone as I wanted I have one new foundation that I want to try the stay naked from Urban Decay I have no idea if the shade is good on this or not I took the lightest neutral shade yeah, it looks kind of good. We will see. And then I also have two products from NYX. I got the high glass finishing powder and the illuminating powder. I don't know if I'm going to use both of these or not, but I have them. Then I also bought all the new things from Kaleido. So I got the three new highlighters. But I was supposed to get the blush as well. They didn't, it wasn't in the package, so they have sent out a new one. So I have another blush that I want to try from Lumiene. It's a liquid blush. This is called Watercolor Blush. And this is going to be so interesting to test out. It looks like this. So I think I will just maybe scooch a little bit closer. Start with the eyeshadow and just talk a lot of shit. As I usually do with my Get Ready With Me's. And okay, I'm going to start with some eyeshadow primer. I have the Milani eyeshadow base eyeshadow primer. And as you may hear, I am a little bit... have. I don't know if I'm sick or if I'm just... I don't know. I have <laughs> gone on vacation. It sounds strange to say so, but I'm off work for three and a half weeks. And it was like the moment... It started, it's a Sunday when I'm filming this and I did my last day on Friday and then this shit happened. I don't know if it is my body that's like... And, and that is one of the reasons why I didn't, why it didn't came up any videos last week. I have some pre-recorded videos but I didn't have like... This friend. I didn't want to edit anything and record something new because I was just so stressed out about work because in my work like the weeks before your vacation it is so much to do and also because it's summer and a lot of people are on vacation already it's so much to do so I've been working a lot this last week and I have just feel drained and I was like 
I'm not going to stress about YouTube as well, so that's why it hasn't come in the videos. And now I think I'm just going to get started, but like I have no idea what I want to do. So I think I will start with this one, just in my crease, and I think I need another brush. And okay, I don't feel like myself right now. I don't know. Another thing that has happened and had made me a lot of stress. As you may know, one of our cats, um, we did put her to sleep um, in the end of January because she had a heart failure and uh, that was one of the hardest things I have ever done in my life, it feels like. And we have wanted to get a new cat. And um, my boyfriend, he wanted a Maine Coon. And uh, yeah. So we have searched the web for a new Maine Coon that isn't too far away. And this shade is maybe the Susu Light. Yeah, we found a cat. A white little girl and she was um, yeah we were going to get her in the middle of July and it was like this <laughs> if you didn't know this white cats can be death like completely death on um, death death they can't hear a single thing it, it's pretty common in white cats and we like we take the risk we She's not going to be outside, so it doesn't matter for us is if she can't hear us. And it turned out that she was 100% not hearing on both ears. And then she also had, okay I tried to google this, a heart murmur. That sounds like it's completely wrong. But she had a little sound on her heart. And I was like, I cannot go through this again. But then they wanted to do another checkup. And because some cats can have it when they are smaller. But when they grow bigger, it disappears. And some cats can have it. And it's nothing wrong with the heart. So that has stressed me a lot. But <laughs> we still bought her. Uh, we have her here. And I can't call on her because she can't hear. It's a little bit strange. So if you have a cat that is deaf, please tell me how... If you have any tips. She can't hear a single thing. <laughs> and she... We can't call on her. And... Uh, yeah, we still got her. And we're going to do an ultrasound on her. In a couple of weeks I hope to see what is really wrong with her heart and this has been stressful for me because I was so sad with our other cat and now it feels like I who am I doesn't feel like I speak like this in normal cases I don't know um, so that has happened and we have had her for my boyfriend picked her up this Wednesday. So we have had her and it's going kind of good. <laughs> Our older cat, she is... Um, they are not friends yet. They haven't like... Have been in a fight or anything. It's just that she doesn't... If you have ever had a kitten, you know how they are. They want to play with everything all the time. And our older cat, Elsa, she is like, no, leave me alone. And also, I don't know, does she like notice that the newer cat can't hear a thing? I have no idea. But we hope that they will become friends. They have only been together for... Yeah, it's the fifth day today, so... It's going better and better. 
So yeah, that has happened in my life. And also, it feels like having a baby. I have never had a baby, but uh, yesterday, the new cat, her name is Astrid. It's a Swedish name. Um, yeah, her name is Astrid. And yesterday, she woke me up at 4 a.m. And she didn't want to go back to sleep. And she was just... <laughs> One thing, apparently, with death cats is that they... They sound very loud because they can't hear how loud they are sounding. So, so she does some strange sounds and really loud sounds. But yeah, it feels like I just want to sleep. And okay. This palette, I like don't know. It feels like it is so freaking light. Even on me. And I don't know if I want to use any of the shimmers. Because I want to use the Miami lights. So I think I actually go into the chocolate palette. Just to deepen this down. And this is... Oh, uh, this is so dark in comparison. Okay. Maybe this is too dark. Maybe I should just... Uh, I have no idea what I want to do. I have no idea. I'm wondering if I want to do like one color only on the lid and then just pack a, shim uh, a glitter on it. Maybe I will do that. <coughs> and then this. I really hope uh, it's just a normal cold. Because I want to do things on my vacation I want to visit my uh, mom and my dad but if I am sick I can't do that and I uh, if we talk about cats again <laughs> if she will come in here I will show you Astrid or else I can put up some uh, pictures on her here she is white, as I said. She is a Maine Coon, so she's going to get so big. Elsa, that we already have, she is a pretty small cat. So, <laughs> Astrid is going to be so big. And it's going to be fun to like see how this will, if they can become like best friends cats or not. Elsa, she is like... Uh, how should I put this? She's like this typical cat. If she doesn't want to, she ain't going to do it. It's like we can... If we try to call on her and she doesn't want to come, she's just like, no, I'm not going to come to you because I don't want to. Okay, I don't know what I want to talk about more. I don't know if this feels like the normal US place quality. It's going to be so much fun to play with the, the violets and the berries palette. Okay, who am I? Is this what's happened when I haven't done? I took the wrong color. When I haven't a makeup look in a while I go for brown and supernatural I don't know who am I and I also want to try to get in with like planning my YouTube things a little bit better and maybe learn how to do it now during my vacation because yeah as I said I'm not going to work for three and a half weeks and I think the one thing that has been stressing me out with YouTube the latest is that I feel like so pressured to do, to like have a schedule. And I know that it's maybe only me that even know that I have a schedule. I have been trying to post three times a week now, go down from four times a week to three times a week. But like I haven't got 
any good like routine about it. No, I can't do make. What's up with me? What am I doing? It doesn't feel like I have a routine on like anything right now. It is just like I. The things that are going up on a Wednesday, um, I sit and record it on a Tuesday and get super stressed and try to edit and try to have it up by Wednesday. And I don't want it to be like that. And I have. It has been for this like a long time. And I just think that I need to not pressure myself with YouTube and like just put up videos when I want to. Because, yeah. Because I don't know if and like, but I have even noticed that I have a schedule. And I don't notice if other people have it. I'm going to be honest because I follow a lot of people so I don't know why I like try to push myself to have something that I don't even notice if others have I don't know why I am like that but I am okay I what 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 have I done what is this for kind of look what am I doing with my life? This is not what I imagine. I don't know what I have imagined though, but it doesn't feel like it was this. The brush was good though. This is Hey Shorty, it says on the handle. It's Beauty Bay's own brush. I wanted to buy some new brushes because I use the same brushes over and over again and I am not that good at cleaning them so instead of being better to clean my brushes I just bought some new ones I don't really know what I am doing and I don't know how to get this in maybe I should just take Scorpio this one but maybe it would look Maybe I'm going to take this one that is ferment, firmament, ferment. You say what? Firmament uses area Scorpio's firmament, firmament, firmament. I don't know. I really like how this is looking. It feels though if I drop it, it will break. But I really, really like it. It's really sleek and. I love this. Um, maybe I actually will take this to have something else. So I will take my glitter primer and just put glitter primer all over my lid. And something else that I've done that I don't know if it was a good idea. I bought a Nintendo Switch. I haven't bought Animal Crossings though because I don't think it's my kind of game right now I am playing my favorite thing is Overcooked 2 that I play with my boyfriend he doesn't love it so it doesn't play we don't play it that much but I love it <laughs> and also I have bought a Rayman Legends I don't know and also Spyro and um, Mario Maker 2 and I I love it <laughs> I am thinking about buying Donkey Kong Tropical Island. If you didn't know this, Donkey Kong Country is my absolute favorite video game of all times. I love Donkey Kong Country. And yeah. And I also want to buy some Mario because I love Mario, but I don't know which one. Okay, I'm going in with that bluish that I couldn't pronounce. And this one. And I'm going to try this brush from Sigma Exact Blend. It doesn't pick up anything. Okay, now it does. Okay, this looks really, really flaky. 
Why do I sound so surprised? It is a glitter. At first I wasn't going to buy this. But then I think it was on Nabla's Instagram. I saw a look with this. And I was like, okay. And now I have... Okay, I just have a mirror really far away. So I don't see exactly what I'm doing. But I do like what I see. And do you see shit? I really want to test out more glitters and more like chunky glitters. But with this whole COVID situation right now and the postal service in Sweden and all around the world, I don't know what I want to buy for kind of glitter and oh my god this was really really cool I think I'm going to have this all over my face yes <laughs> so when Nabla came out with this and I saw that it was like a little bit chunkiness to it I was like okay I'm going to buy it because Nabla I can buy from either Beauty Bay, that is UK based, or Nabla's own website that is in Italy. I don't have to wait too long. And, but I have made an order from Colourpop. It's going to be fun to see how long it will take. I have bought a ear weights from Usk and Embla and it is taking like almost two months now I think they are in Sweden but they have like got stuck in customs or something and I am so I just want them because they look really really cool and okay this since when do I do like this kind of glitter looks? I have no idea. Okay, I think I really like it, but I think it is a little bit too much. And maybe it feels like a little bit too much because I don't have any other makeup. I guess that can be the reason. But like I... Okay, I'm going to try to show you. Do you see this? Do you see how flaky and nice this is? Just feels like I took too much, but... I think with maybe a base, some eyebrows and... Yeah, when I look a little bit better, it might look pretty good so I will take away the fallouts not fix my base because we are going to do that together and I really hope that this foundation is I think it's going to be a little bit too dark we will see maybe it looks good in, in the studio lighting because some foundations look better in studio lighting with like face matching or shade matching than they do in real life so I will take away the fallout and then I come back. I have put on this Bear With Me spray from NYX as my primer because I love primers. And I actually tested this out a little bit on my shin. Yeah, shin. And the color looked good, so I hope for the best. I will start with a concealer first and I will take the Catrice One Drop Coverage Weightless concealer. I have true ivory. And I like to put this down first. So I'm going to see how this is going to go so fast. I really like this concealer. It is really like I have this small amount and it's going to be like too much. So okay, let's go in to the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. 
and I got the color 10NN. And it was so hard when I was going to buy this because the shades on Swedish, when I bought it here in Sweden, uh, it was not the same like description as on their own website. I think this is really f very fair with neutral, 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 like neutral undertone and neutral, yeah, neutral. <laughs> and in Sweden, I think it was neutral with a blue undertone and I was like, no, it should be neutral, neutral because I am neutral. <laughs> So we will see. Maybe I should for once start with half my face and we will see how this looks. And I really like the bottle is plastic, but I don't think it feels like too plastic. Like too plastic and it is a little bit runny, but not that much. I'm used to my serum foundation from the ordinary and that is a really 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 like so liquidy and it says that this is going to be a full coverage but like no a medium coverage flexible breathable real skin matte finish medium buildable coverage and I hate full coverage foundations because I usually can't find a foundation that match me perfectly so if I take a medium coverage it usually doesn't show it's not that obvious that it doesn't match me that good but I really like that and okay I mostly bought this because of uh, Angelica Lirmar um, she really loved this foundation and okay I think the color is actually really good I really hope that it doesn't oxidize or anything but like this it looks really good and it looks like oh, get there. Oh. how Jesus fucking Christ I got a black cat hair here Elsa But wh where, where the fuck is it? Is it the same hair that is coming back all the time? It feels like it's a really light coverage, like it only evens out my skin tone, it feels like. Do you, do you see any difference? This is the side with the foundation and this is without. I feel it looks a little bit more like even skin tone. Okay, Angelica, I see. Right now, like in the beginning, I see what you mean. Why you like this? I think it smells a little bit though. I don't know what, but it just has a smell. Nothing like perfume or anything but just something and I one thing first I was like okay I'm going to buy the Urban Decay foundation and then when I was like no I'm going to buy the Anastasia all luminous foundation but then I was like no I'm going to buy the Urban Decay foundation and as you may understand I took the Urban Decay and I actually don't know why because this is like a real skin, what does it say? Real skin matte finish. And I don't like matte foundations, I like like luminous foundations. But then I read a little bit about it and a lot of people was like, it doesn't look matte. So... I think I really like this. <laughs> I don't know why I always take it over my lips because it looks a little bit strange to have it on my lips. 
Okay, I actually think I really like this foundation. It looks good. It doesn't feel matte or anything, or drying. I was a little bit worried about that. And it feels like it covers what I wanted to cover. And now it's all like, I don't know if I'm going to set this down or not. It was not tran does not transfer. But at the same time, I think it doesn't look super matte. But it feels like it is a little bit like matter than I want it to be. So I'm thinking about using the high glass finishing powder from NYX. And I don't know if it will dry down or not. I have no idea. I think I want to set it at least. But okay, I my battery lamp is blinking. This always happens when I hasn't filmed for a while. So I think I'm going to fix my eyebrows and set my under eyes. And then do something while my battery is loading a little bit. So I can end this Get Red With Me. So Get Red With Me first impression. So I will fix my eyebrows, set my concealer. But then I want to, maybe I should, no, because I want you to see when I test the blush and the powder and the highlighter. So yeah. How can I have cat hair everywhere? And it's not going to be easier now when we have two cats with long hair. It's going to be far everywhere. So okay, I will fix something, maybe check a little bit of YouTube and then I come back and we test out the blush. I think I maybe have to look how to use it and the powder. And maybe this foundation will dry down a little bit more if I just give it some time. Okay, we will see. I will fix some things. But I will not leave you out with me testing you fix. Okay, so I put on some just a little bit contour with the Milk Baked Matte Bronzer Stick. And it feels like I look so flat in my face. And my eyebrows, I colored them yesterday. And the, the thing I put in, they are so dark. But we're just going to live with it. So, for my blush, I'm going to use this from Lumina. It's the Invisible Illuminating Watercolor Blush in Pink Blossom. And you are supposed to shake this well and then put it on your face. And I think I will put it on the back of my hand and then take this stippling brush. I don't know the name of this. This is from Hiccup. It's too... Oh, two. I like to use this together with my. I like to use this brush together with my Natasha Denona Bloom palette. It's okay. We'll see how this looks. A little bit scared of this, and I think I took way too much. So it looks like this, and I think I will take the brush and just. Okay, I took so much. Okay, we will see. I think this will look. So much, yes. And the foundation has dried down a little bit. It's not completely like it still is a little bit sticky, but yeah, I will see how we'll do with the powder. I want to use the powder because I have heard good things about it. I don't know about this blush. I think this is a kind of blush that would look really good like on a bare skin. And it feels like it has a little bit of sheen to it. I think I like it. But I think I want to try to use it. With nothing under. Maybe that will look strange. 
but I took way too much. But yeah, like, I have too much on this sheet, but it just, we have it like that. Okay, and for my highlight, I have the Diamond Dasher, Marsh Malter, and moon cruiser and moon cruiser i guess it's a little kind of blue but i think i actually will take diamond dasher and we will see i haven't used this yet i really don't know why but it hasn't like come to that so will the packaging will look like this and oh i have this left and i have some plastic and hello plastic this was smooth eh <laughs> and it looks like this so i will just take my trust the old highlight blush brush and put it Maybe I like it, but I don't know if it was the best highlighter to the blush. I don't know. Maybe it got a little bit stuck to the blush. I don't know, but I think I, I do like it. It was maybe a little bit darker than I expected. I I expect that I haven't swatched it or anything. And now I'm starting to like all the things that I'm going to test out after this. I don't know if they will suit. Okay, I don't even know if I need a powder over. Keep the highlighter. It's so, so much. But I actually think I will go in a little bit with the finishing powder, the high glass finishing powder in light and it was Angelica Nyqvist that talked about this and she I think she ranked this in like her 12 favorite products for 2020 so far and I was like okay and now when I have been stressed about like everything and sad about like everything I have shopped a lot But I don't know if I want to take this all over. Maybe not. Maybe if I take it on my forehead. Ooh. It looks really like shimmery. Maybe this isn't like an all over face. All over face. I was <laughs> like, I'm going to look in the mirror. Yeah, it's a plastic lid. Okay, I think I just got over a little bit. Maybe that is a little bit better. I have my powder from Nabla that I love, the pressed powder. But that is like a matte powder and it's not always I want to be. Matt, okay, I I really like this actually. I'm going to do my under eyes and I think I will go in with this shade from the nudes and this shade from the chocolates. And one thing that really annoys me with this with these palettes, it is four of them and in the violets. The violets is with normal lettering and also in the berries and also the nudes. But the chocolate is in another color and also like... What the hell is it called? Skrivsil on Swedish. Like in this fancy lettering and I'm like, why do you do this? 
So I'm just going to go in with these shades on my lower lash. I'm thinking about if I want to do something in my inner corner. I don't know if I want to put something from the Nabla palette or not. I think it is supposed to be eye safe. It doesn't say anything. So I guess it's supposed to be eye safe then. So maybe if I would go in with, but I don't think so. Because it has like a white, but no, I think I will take maybe something from this nudes palette. And okay, it, it feels like I don't know who I am. And this is such a strange video. But it's like always like this. When I haven't filmed for a little over a week and I haven't been, I haven't watched that many YouTube videos either. It just feels like I don't know to act, how I talk, or what to do. I don't know. And I just take the same brush and go into the chocolates and just put it out here a little bit. Maybe like half of my eye. And apparently I don't know what I usually do because since when do I do brown? I don't know. I actually have one more thing to try out. I bought these vivid eyeliners from NYX. They have done like a pride, maybe not collection, but some pride things. And these were some of them, I think. So these are six vivid bright eyeliners and I think I'm going to use maybe this one or no. I think I'm going in with this purple one to match to match my lids and this is in shine a bitch. Yeah, shine bitch. So okay, time for just <laughs> some setting spray and mascara. I can do that off cam and then I actually have a new lip from Nabla as well. I need to stop and buy a liquid lipstick from Nabla. This is Kernel and I think this is a little bit of a reddish color. We will try it together with this look and see how it will look. But time for setting spray and mascara. Okay, so time for the lips. And this is Kernel as I said and I don't remember how this looks. I haven't tried it. We will see. Ooh, maybe not the best to this eye look, but... What the hell? It's a little bit more like a pink than I usually have, and that's good. So maybe not all my lipsticks are... Red. But I like it. So, okay. Is this weird all over, I don't know what this is for, kind of get ready with me, finished? I don't know if I can let down my hair or if it looks like shit. It looks like shit. Okay, so should I tell you my first impression with things? If we start with the foundation... I think it looks really good. Still, I haven't had it on for like maybe 30 minutes. I think the shade looks good, at least in the studio lights. But I checked a little bit before and it looks good. And I like how it lays on the skin. And for me, it was like the perfect amount of coverage. I don't like super much coverage, but I want something to like smoothing it out so i like it so far we will see how it holds up now it's 
candlelight, so I don't know how long I will have this on, but I will continue to use this, so I will know at some, at some point. And then should we take the other face things? So this high glass finishing powder, I really like how it looks in my forehead. It looks a little bit shimmery, but not too much. So I think I'm really going to like this. And I want to do like all, use all the high glass things someday. Because I have the primer, the foundation, the concealer, the powder and the illuminating thing that I can use as a highlighter, I hope. So I will try to do that because I really love the foundation and the primer and the concealer. And the highlighter from Kaleidos. I think, I think it was a little bit more pink than I expected, but like I didn't even swatch that. It looks good. This is one of... The N, they have N and G, and N is my favorite. I think they are a little bit more neutral, or like not that chunky. Really like it. Yes. And then the blush. I, now when I put some powder over it, I like it a little bit more. I think this would look really good with like out any other makeup, just to have a little bit of blush because it was so like sheer if you wanted it to and I think like taking it with my fingers will look really really good so I like this one maybe more liquid blushes is my favorite more than sticks I don't know then we have eyes I can start with the UVS. This nudes, I used, I popped this in my inner corner as well. It was a little bit more gold than I expected it to be. I don't really know. This was not like as cool as I thought it was going to be. It was pretty like neutral. I think that if I would do makeup every day, I think I would use this like to work, but I don't use makeup for work because I go up late. The quality, maybe not like the best US Place quality, I don't know. I just only used like three colors. Nothing wrong with it. And then the chocolates, I only used one. I liked it. I think... I don't even know how much I'm going to use this. But yeah, when I'm going to US, I rather take like more fun colors than neutral things, but like I wanted to have all four. Yeah. And this one from Nabla. I I think it's a little bit too much, but I really like that it's chunky parts in it as well. I'm going to see if I can show you. Can you focus please? I don't know if you can see that it is like bigger specks in it. Really like it and I really like the dimension of it and it doesn't feel like it's going to fall. It was easy to take it away from the face, the things that had fall and I'm so happy about this. So it's going to be fun to use this, especially like this pinkish one. And maybe do like a faux halo or something. So yes, I like it. And then we have the brush. I only used the one from Beauty Bay. It was good. I liked it. It was cheap, so it was really good for that cause. Cause so what? The Vivid Bright Eyeliner. Oh my freaking god. I have some more colors and it's going to be so fun to use them. But this was like... Sometimes with pens I like have to go over it two, two or three times maybe. But this was like one time and it was amazing. And it still look as amazing as when I put it on. So I have high hopes for this. So, so far I really like it. And the lipstick. I love Nabla's liquid lipstick as you may know if you have been here. It's my like favorite formula when it comes to liquid lipsticks and I like this color. It is a little bit more pinkish than I usually have 
which is good because I don't have that many like pinkish. I think the color is really good. I think it suits me. I love the red lipsticks as you may know but this I want to use more pink ish colors on my lips but I think it's hard to find anything that is really good so okay that was all of my f full face of first impressions almost and a little get rid of me I as normal don't know if you understood anything of what I said we got a new cat she is death death it sounds like I said that she's dead but she's death hard word and death if you have any tips please let me know if you have a, a cat yourself that can't hear like a thing and I wish that she would come here but if you have ever had a cat they sleep like or kitten they sleep like 18 hours a day and are awake like the rest 6 hours which usually is at night. So yeah, I really hope you like this video. I will try to come back as normal now that I am off work. And hopefully have a little bit more energy. I'm just going to get rid of this cold or what the hell this is. And I'm going to try to relax. Take my time. Find a better way to do YouTube than I do now. Because it's it has been really stressful for me. And it feels like I say that all the time. So yeah, maybe I will have a longer break. I don't know. I will be back when I be back. I just have to find like an inner calm situation. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I am confused. I am tired. I I don't know. But yeah. I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one and hopefully it will not take too long and hopefully I will be just feeling better soon. I really hope. So yeah, I really hope you like this and I hope I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!